everyone, I hope you're well. If I haven't met you before, my name is Tanya and the theme of today's flow is all about finding the balance. So we'll be focusing a little bit on our core stability and also move, moving through postures that involve testing our balance on one leg. So whenever you are ready, come to your mat and find a comfortable seated position. Gentle neck rolls, any shoulder rolls, any wiggles of the fingers, of the toes, and then gently just find some stillness and close down the eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose and sigh out of the mouth. Let it all go. One more with this inhale. down the mouth and start to take inhales and exhales through your nose. Just focusing on your breathing, tuning your attention inward just to see how your body is feeling today as you arrive into the space. Inhaling. tightness you may be feeling. One more here, inhale and exhale. And just gently wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, drop your head and just gently roll your neck from side to side. Roll the neck up and gently flicker the eyes open. We're gonna start with some seated cat cows. So as you inhale, push the heart forward, open the chest, lift the gaze, pulling the shoulders down away from the ears and squeezing the shoulder blades behind you. And as you exhale, pull the navel into the, your spine, rounding through the back if you're a nice ice cream scoop. Inhale, pull the heart forward, lift the chest, the gaze, and exhale, pull the navel to the spine, rounding through the back, dropping the head. One more here, inhale, and exhale. On your next inhale, roll forward over onto the knees, coming to all fours, tabletop position, having our wrists directly stacked underneath our shoulders, knees underneath hips, long flat spine. And we'll just do some regular cat cows here to continue mobilizing the spine. So again, as you inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart forward, lift the gaze and exhale, rounding through the spine, dropping the head. Inhale, and exhale. One more here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine, and we're just gonna flow through some gentle bird dog variations. So extend your right arm forward, your left leg back, feeling the energy extend in opposite directions through the fingers and then the toes. Engaging through the core, keeping the spine long. And exhale, replace the hand and the knee back onto the mat. Inhale, other side. And exhale, replace back onto the mat. We'll do it two more times on each side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Really squeezing through the core, feeling that activation. Exhale. Last time. And exhale back down 
onto all fours. Inhale, untuck the toes, press through the hands into the mat. And as you exhale, hover the knees just about an inch off of the mat, really fire through the core for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale, push the hips up and back to the sky for downward facing dog. Really pressing into the mat with your hands spreading the fingers wide. Feel an outward spiraling of the upper arms, drawing the shoulders down the back and away from the ears, keeping along through the spine, drawing the belly in. Sit bones high to the sky and drawing the energy down the backs of the legs into the heels, into the earth. If we're working with slightly tighter hamstrings, not to worry, just take a soft bend in your knees, maybe even lift the heels slightly and that will feel a lot better for you. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, gently bend the knees, look forward and tiptoe the feet to the top of your mat in between your hands, come into a nice forward fold. Take a gentle bend through the knees, let the chest rest on the thighs and the head hanging heavy and gently sway from side to side. Just letting go of any residual tension, maybe even nodding the head yes and then gently shaking the head no. Inhaling and exhaling. One more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, bend through the knees and roll up slowly through the spine. One vertebrae at a time, your head is the last thing to come up. Inhale, take a nice shoulder roll. And exhale, draw the shoulders down the back and away from the ears. What we're looking for here is our big toes to touch, heels slightly apart. But if that doesn't work for you, just take your feet about hip width apart. On your next inhale, sweep the arms overhead, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold the body forward. Inhale, lift the torso up halfway, keeping a long spine. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands on the mat, step the right foot back, the left foot back for plank pose. And as you exhale, pull the heart forward, drop the knees to the mat, untuck the toes, and just slowly lower the torso in one straight line all the way to the floor, keeping the elbows hugging into the ribs. As you inhale, lift the head, pull the heart and the chest forward for, for Cobra. Again, keeping the elbows tight into the ribs, drawing the shoulder blades down the back and away from the ears, squeezing through the thighs. Exhale, lower back gently down onto the mat. Inhale, press the hands into the mat, pushing the hips back to the heels for a gentle child's pose. And know that you can come back to child's pose at any moment during the practice if you need to. Inhale and exhale, untuck the toes, press through the hands, lift the hips up and back to the sky for downward facing dog. One breath here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step the right foot to the top of the mat, the left foot to meet it, and exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, drawing the navel in, keeping long through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand, sweeping the arms overhead, and exhale.
exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands on the mat, step the left foot back this time. Right foot back for plank pose. Really squeezing through the legs, the glutes. Pulling the navel in, really pressing away from the earth through the hands. Exhale, pull the heart forward. And this time, either keep the legs straight or feel free to drop the knees down onto the mat for Chaturanga, lowering the body again on one straight line, elbows tucked in. Inhale, roll forward over the toes, pushing up for upward facing dog, lifting the chest, the gaze, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, elbows tight to the ribs, squeezing through the thighs, exhale, pushing up and back for a downward facing dog. Inhale here, and exhale. Inhale. Then the knees will look forward, step to the top of your mat, left foot, right foot, and exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand, sweeping the arms overhead, gaze to thumbs, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant hands, step or hop back for plank pose. Exhale, pull the heart forward and lowering one long line halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, roll forward over the toes, pushing up for the upward facing dog. And exhale, hips to the sky for downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale, really drawing the shoulders down the back, feeling the energy, drawing all the way down the backs of the legs, through the heels into the earth. On your next inhale, bend the knees, loop forward, step or hop to the top of your mat, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand, sweeping the arms overhead, and exhale, hands to prayer at heart centre. On your next inhale, sit the hips back, reach the arms overhead for Utkatasana, chair pose. You'll be squeezing the thighs together for stability, drawing the belly in, drawing the shoulders down away from the ears and reaching the hands to the sky. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here. Option to lift through the heels. Inhale and exhale. Lower the heels, fold the body forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back for plank pose. And exhale, pull the heart forward and lower down one straight line, elbows tight to the ribs, chaturanga. Inhale, roll forward over the toes, pushing up for upward facing dog. And exhale, push the hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. One breath here, inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, ripple forward through the spine to plank pose. Plant through the left hand, turning onto the outer edge of the left foot for our side plank and reach the right arm to the sky. Modification, drop your left knee to the mat. That's all good. Or if you're wanting to be in full plank, having the right leg stacked over the left, really strong through that left arm, really pressing into the mat 
and reaching with the right arm all the way to the sky. Hips nice and high, feeling the engagement through the left side body. Advanced option, lifting the right foot to the knee. Keep breathing team, you've got this. Inhale and exhale. If you're in the advanced option, slowly bring your right foot back to the left and exhale, twisting back round for plank pose. Well done, team. Inhale here and exhale, draw your right knee to your nose. Inhale, reach the right foot back for three-legged plank. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged plank. One last time here. Exhale, right knee to nose. Step the right foot in between the hands, planting onto the mat. Drop the left knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, reach the arms overhead for low crescent lunge. Keeping the right knee directly stacked over the right ankle and feeling a nice stretch along the left hip flexor and the thigh. Breathing here, inhale. And as you exhale, just gently sit the hips back, straightening the right leg for a nice hamstring stretch. Hinging forward from the hips, keeping a long spine here. Inhale, pull the heart forward, bend into the right knee for low lunge. Exhale, push the hips back, straighten the right leg for a half split. One more here, pull the heart forward as you inhale, really sinking into that front leg for a nice stretch and exhale back to half split. Inhale, pull the heart forward again for low lunge and exhale, plant the hands. As you inhale, untuck the back toe, straightening the left leg sweeping the arms up and overhead for high crescent lunge, feeling really grounded into the earth through that strong bend in the front leg. One more inhale here and exhale, open out for warrior two. The left foot at a 90 degree angle, keeping strong through the back leg, having our hips open to the side of the mat. And again, keeping that strong bend through the front leg, knee tracking directly over the toes. Stretching the arms out to the side, feeling the energy extend beyond the fingers in opposite directions. Inhale here. And exhale. On your next inhale, flip the palms, reach forward, up and back, for reverse warrior and feel a nice stretch across the right side of your body. Placing your left hand just on your thigh or on your shin, wherever feels comfortable for you. Making sure to keep the strong bend through that right leg. One more breath here, inhale and exhale, coming back to warrior two. Inhale here, and as you exhale, lower the right elbow onto the right knee, sweep the back arm down and overhead for extended side angle. Keeping a long straight line from the left foot all the way up the leg through the left side of the body, extending the energy beyond the left fingertips really squeezing through the thighs, feeling really rooted into the earth. One more breath here. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms back up to warrior two. And exhale, windmill the arms forward to frame the right foot, turning onto the ball of the left foot. Inhale, really pressing through the floor with the hands, stepping the right foot back for plank pose. 
exhale, pull the heart forward and lower through Chaturanga, halfway down. Inhale, roll forward over the toes, pushing up for upward facing dog, lifting the heart, lifting the gaze and exhale, push the hips up and back for downward facing dog. One more breath here and exhale. On your next inhale, ripple forward through the spine to plank pose and we'll be going to the second side. So this time, plant your right hand, really rooting into the mat with your right arm, turning onto the outer edge of your right foot this time, stacking on top of your right foot with your left and reaching your right arm to the sky, left arm to the sky, sorry, for side plank. Again, your modifications are to drop your right knee to the mat, or if you want to come with me, lifting your left toe to the knee. Oh, embrace all of those wobbles, squeezing through the legs and the core. One more breath, team, you've got this. Inhale, and exhale. Coming back to side plank and turning to regular plank. Breathe here and exhale, inhale and as you exhale take your left knee to nose and inhale, reach the left foot back for three legged plank, exhale knee to nose, inhale three legged plank, one more here, exhale knee to nose and step your left foot in between the hands Planting your foot onto the mat, drop the right knee, untuck the toes, inhale, sweep the arms overhead for low crescent lunge. Again, tracking the left knee directly over the ankle and feeling a nice stretch through the right thigh, the hip flexor. Reaching the arms high to the sky. Inhale here. And as you exhale, shift your hips back, straighten through the left leg for half split. Again, hinging from the hips, focusing on length through that spine. So if it means you can't fold as deeply, not to worry. If it even feels better for you, take a slight bend in that left knee. Inhale, pull the heart forward, bend into the left knee for a low lunge. Exhale, Hips back for half split. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, half split. One more pulling forward. Inhale. And exhale, planting the hands. Inhale, untuck the right toe, straighten the leg. Ground through the left foot and the left leg. And sweep the arms overhead for high crescent lunge. Squeezing through those thighs, strong bend through the left leg, feeling really rooted into the earth. Reaching the arms, feeling the energy extend up to the sky beyond the fingers. One more inhale here. And exhale, opening out for warrior two on the second side. Again, 90 degree angle for the right foot straight through that right leg, strong bend through the left leg, knee directly over the ankle, and feel the energy extend beyond the fingers in opposite directions. Inhale here, and exhale, making sure that our hip bones are directly facing the long end of the mat, nice and open. On your next inhale, flip the palms, Reach forward, up and back for a reverse warrior. Again, taking the right hand wherever feels most comfortable for you. Gazing through the forearm of our left arm. Inhale here. And exhale, coming back to warrior two. Inhale here. And exhale, lowering the left elbow down on 
down to the thigh, sweeping the right arm down and overhead for extended side angle pose. Looking for a nice straight line all the way from the right foot to the right fingers. Inhale here. And exhale. One more breath, team. Inhale. And exhale. And as you inhale, come back up to warrior two. And exhale, windmill the arms down to frame the left foot. Turn onto the ball of the right foot. Inhale, press through the hands, stepping the left foot back to plank pose. Exhale, pull the heart forward and lower through our chaturanga. In one straight line halfway. Inhale, roll forward over the toes, lifting the chest, the gaze for upward facing dog. And exhale, push the hips to the sky for a downward facing dog. Well done team. Take a deep cleansing breath here. Inhale and sigh out of the mouth. On your next inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand, sweeping the arms overhead. And exhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart centre. Well done, team. Now, I want to have a wee bit of fun here. So as we stand in our mountain pose, or Tadasana, I want you to squeeze through the thighs, engaging the core, and just gently close down the eyes. And just slowly shift your weights forward over onto the toes and come back to centre. Slightly back into the heels and come back to centre. And gently just side to side. Maybe even taking circles through the feet, just shifting our weight from side to side very gently forward and back and just really listening to our body. On your next inhale, come back to centre and what I want you to do is just very slowly shifting your weight into your right leg, really squeeze through that thigh, feeling really rooted into the earth through that right leg. And if you can, just very slowly lift your left foot off the mat, keeping those eyes closed. Ooh, embrace any of those wobbles. And if you fall, you're only human. Welcome to the club. Not to worry at all. It's just about having a little bit of fun, playing around with our balance. One more breath here. And exhale, lower your left foot back onto the mat. Just gently blink the eyes open and reset your posture. Again, really squeeze through the thighs, the glutes, engaging through the core, feeling nice and open through the chest. And again, just gently close down your eyes. And this time, slowly shift your weight into your left leg. Again, feeling rooted into the earth, feeling str a strong engagement through that left thigh. And slowly start to lift your right foot off the ground. Now you'll notice one side may be entirely different. And that's okay, because it's very rare that our bodies are symmetrical. So you may feel more unstable or maybe even more stable on this second side. All about playing around with our balance today. Oh, one more breath here, team. And exhale, gently place the right foot back down onto the mat and blink your eyes open. Take a nice shoulder roll here and exhale for Tadasana. On your next inhale, sit your hips back, sweep the arms overhead for chair pose. Again, really squeezing through the thighs for stability, engaging through the core 
and reaching the arms overhead. On your next inhale, bring your hands together at heart center and twist to your right, hooking your left elbow to the right hand, to the outer edge of your right knee, aiming for your sternum to be facing the right side wall. Breathe here, inhale and exhale. You maybe even want to try lifting your left foot off the mat. Breathing deeply, squeezing through those legs and the core. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, lower the left foot if you have it lifted. Coming back to center, sweeping your arms overhead. And exhale for this, come to the second side. Hooking your right elbow this time to the outer edge of your left knee, twisting round to the left. Again, squeezing through the thighs for stability, engaging through the core, feeling a nice twist across the spine. And you may even want to lift the right foot this time. Ooh. Embracing those bobbles. One more breath here, inhale and exhale inhale lower that right foot if it's lifted sweeping the arms overhead coming back to center and exhale fold the body forward inhale lift up halfway and exhale forward fold inhale plant the hands on the mat step or hop back to plank pose squeezing through those thighs really pressing the floor away with the hands. Exhale, pull the heart forward and lower in one straight line, tucking those elbows in for Chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog and exhale, lift the hips to the sky for downward facing dog. Straight away, inhale the right leg to the sky for three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, this time step the right foot in between the hands. Planting the foot, inhale, sweep the arms overhead for high crescent lunge. Inhale here, and exhale. Inhale, reach up and as you exhale sweep the arms down and lean the body slightly forward for our arrow pose inhale sweep the arms up and exhale arms down and back for arrow pose inhale and exhale keeping squeezing through those thighs one more inhale here and then as you exhale shift your weight forward into that right leg and just slowly lift the left foot i'll come back slightly lift the left foot off of the mat for a baby warrior three and you can test your balance just gently lifting the left foot on and off the mat but if you want to come with me to full warrior three lifting the leg as high as you can keeping a long straight line through the body and the leg really rooting through the floor with that standing leg and engaging strongly through the left leg that's lifted flexing through the heel and feeling a pushing away with that leg making sure that our hips are square to the floor so not opening on that top leg if it feels more comfortable for you you can keep your arms back here or they can come to prayer or even out to the side kind of like an airplane one more breath here team you're doing so well inhale and exhale on your next inhale pendulum the leg down and forward and lift the left knee into the chest and reach the arms up overhead feel a real squeeze through the core 
and still staying strong and grounded through that right leg and reach the right the arms to the sky feeling a nice long length down through the back of the body one more breath here team inhale and exhale step that left foot back to high crescent lunge Ooh. one more breath here inhale and exhale plant the hands onto the mat stepping the right foot back to plank pose inhale here and exhale pull the heart forward lowering down chaturanga inhale roll forward over the toes lifting the heart the gaze for upward dog and exhale lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog we'll take one breath here team before stepping side inhale and exhale inhale reach the left leg to the sky for three-legged dog exhale knee to nose really squeezing through that core inhale left leg to the sky for three-legged dog exhale knee to nose one more time team inhale the left leg to the sky exhale step the left foot in between the hands planting into the mat squeeze through the thighs inhaling up for high crescent lunge one breath here inhale and exhale again squeezing through that thighs through the thighs strong bend through that left leg inhale here and then exhale sweeping those arms down and back leaning the torso slightly forward for arrow pose inhale sweep the arms overhead high crescent lunge exhale arms down for arrow one more here inhale and exhale sweeping the arms down and back for arrow i'll move back slightly inhale here again squeezing through that thighs and then as you exhale just gently shift the weight forward into the left leg this time and just gently test lifting that right foot off the floor for baby warrior three squeezing through that core feeling a strong engagement it will really help you balance and if you want to come with me we'll take the full warrior three nice long line from your right heel all the way to the crown of your head squeezing through that right heel pushing as if you're pushing something away and a strong engagement through that left thigh embrace the wobbles team one last breath here inhale and exhale inhale pendulum that right leg forward bringing the knee up to the chest and reaching the arms overhead strong through that core really grounding through the left leg into the floor and reaching the arms to the sky well done team you're doing so well inhale here and exhale one more inhale and exhale step the right foot back for a high crescent lunge inhale and exhale plant the hands onto the mat framing the left foot inhale step the left foot back for flank pose and exhale pull the heart forward lowering through chaturanga inhale roll forward over the toes pushing up for upward facing dog and exhale lift the hips up and back for a downward facing dog well done everyone that was a tough one deep cleansing breath here inhale and exhale inhale bend the knees look forward and hop to the top of the mat exhale fold the body forward inhale lift up halfway and exhale fold the body forward inhale roll all the way 
it up to standing, sweeping the arms overhead and exhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart centre. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, gaze to the thumbs, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift the long spine, exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank pose. And exhale, pull the heart forward. I'm lowering all the way to the mat this time. In one straight line. Inhale, pressing through the hands, just gently coming to cobra. Squeeze those elbows in, drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears. And exhale, lower to the mat. Inhale, press through the hands, pushing the hips to the heels for child's pose. And just breathe deeply here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath here, team. Inhale. And exhale, press through the hands, untuck the toes, pushing the hips up and back for our last downward dog of the practice. And just here, slowly pedal out through the heels and just feel how your body is doing compared to when you first came to the mat today. Just find some stillness now. And on your next inhale, bend the knees, look forward and tiptoe to the top of your mat and slowly bend the knees and come to a nice seated position and extend the legs in front of you for Dandasana. Inhale, reach the arms overhead and exhale, take a nice gentle forward fold, keeping long through the back. So take a soft bend in your knees if that feels better for you. And just breathe deeply here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here, team. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, roll the spine upright. Engage through the core, gently lean back and lift the legs to a sort of tabletop position. And if you can, reach the arms forward in a sort of neutral V for Navasana. Squeezing through that core. And if you can, straighten through the legs come back slightly and exhale, come back to Navasana. We'll do this four more times, but like a piece of crunch. Ex inhale and exhale, pull in for Navasana. Inhale and exhale. Two more times team, inhale and exhale, really firing through the core one last time. Inhale and exhale well done team last little bit for a count of five slowly lower through your hollow hold for a count of five four three two one wow let's all go in the mat bring your knees into your chest give your neck yourself a well-deserved hug just gently rocking from side to side giving your spine a little massage. On your next inhale, plant your feet on the mat, keeping the knees bent, and just slowly let the knees drop to the left side, and opening the arms out to the side, if that feels good for you, looking over the right shoulder, and feeling a nice gentle spinal twist here. Feel free to cross the right leg over the left for a deeper spinal twist. Well 
well done team. That was great work today. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Bring the knees back up. And let them gently fall to the right side as you exhale. Again, if it feels better for you for more of a stretch, take the left knee over the right. And gently let them fall to the right side. Looking over the left shoulder, if that feels good for you today. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and cross the knees and bring them back up to center. Give yourself one last hug, really squeezing in. And exhale, extend the legs along the mat your arms coming down to the side of you for our final resting pose, Savasana. Take one deep breath in here and exhale, sigh out the mouth, closing down the eyes, just letting it all go, feeling the heaviness of your body just sink into the mat. With every exhale, just feel yourself melt deeper and deeper into the earth, as if you're lying in a bed of the comfiest blankets, cushions, and you just sink deeper and deeper. Inhale. And exhale. Letting your body soak up all of the benefits all of your hard work during today's practice. Inhale. And exhale. Letting go of any tension, anything that you may be holding on to. Inhaling. And exhaling. Just gently Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, maybe roll out through the ankles, the wrists as you bring life back into your body. Reach the arms overhead for a nice full body stretch. Bring the knees into the chest and gently rock from side to side. Coming onto either the right or the left side into a gentle fetal position, a symbol of rebirth. Inhaling, gently pushing yourself up to find a nice, comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, sweeping the arms side and up. Inhaling all of that good energy, collecting all of those positive vibes. And exhale, bring your hands together at heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And take the time to thank yourselves for coming to the mat with no expectations and just taking the time to focus on yourself, tuning into your body and your mind and your soul. Inhaling, bringing your hands to the space between your eyebrows, your third eye center. The love and light within me honors and recognizes the love and light within all of you. Namaste. Thank you so much again, team. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your morning, your evening. Lots of love. Mwah.